Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So the brother's written in to us uh, regarding his situation with his wife. They both live in separate countries at the moment, but the brother will be moving to her country very soon, inshallah. But unfortunately, the difficulty that they're facing at the moment is that his wife is experiencing um, sexual assault at the hands of her brother-in-law at the moment. And this, understandably, is making him feel very angry. And given the high status of the man involved um, at the moment, he's not really sure how to handle it. Or if he does go ahead um, and speak to the family about it, how it's going to go down given that the man um, has such a high status. So I think um, there's two things that you need to deal with here. Um, first of all, your own emotions regarding the situation, but also the way that you deal with the actual situation as well. So I think the first thing you need to do is look at um, your emotions as well. You did speak about how to manage your anger. Um, so at least dealing with your anger and your emotions uh, relating to the situation will make you and place you in a better situation to, uh, to manage what's going on um, at the moment. So regarding dealing with your anger, there's um, an ayat in the Quran, which I'm sure you're aware of anyway, um, but it's um, Surah 41, ayat 34, which says, and not equal are the good deed and the bad. Repel evil by that deed which is better, and thereupon the one whom between you is enmity will become as though he was a devoted friend. So this is a good ayat that we can refer to here in this situation um, because it tells you almost to remain calm and to respond to his evil deeds with that which is better. So obviously you're feeling angry and this would kind of tell us that you need to kind of tame your anger and not respond in the same aggressive way um, that this man is and respond um, more gently than he is, let's say. So um, first of all, regarding your anger, this is going to be the main thing that would kind of spur you to respond in a certain way. So we need to kind of work on controlling this first before you confront the situation. And again, there's lots of useful advice in the Quran and in the Hadith, sorry, on how to deal with this. So um, there are Hadith that suggest changing your position. So if you're standing, sit down. If you're sitting, then lie down um, as a means to manage your anger. So this is uh, the first way um, that you can manage it. So obviously you're not there right now. This is just when you're thinking about it at home or wherever. Change your position. And again, same with um, um, seeking refuge from shaitan as well. Obviously, um, you're not there confronting the man right now, but in the meantime, when you think of this and you're feeling angry about it, seek refuge from shaitan. So this is the way you can manage your emotions in the situation, and this will put you in a better position to manage what's going on more effectively and more rationally as well. And also remaining silent as well. If somebody says something bad to you or does something bad, remaining silent can be difficult. And not necessarily in the moment, not necessarily regarding the entire thing, but to not go shouting about it to everyone around, but instead to remain silent about it and kind of keep your calm on the situation as well. So this is how we can manage the emotions um, regarding the situation. But then the second part of it comes down to managing the actual situation, which is difficult because you're obviously not there right now. Um, you're at home and you're feeling very angry about it. You're understandably angry. You can't be there to protect her right now. So when, you're at, when you actually go there, you need to remember not to respond in this angry way that you're feeling right now and instead to approach it very calmly. Um, but you need to consider your options as well, whether you go all out and tell the entire family, whether you keep it entirely quiet or take a middle ground and address the man himself on a one-to-one -one or maybe with your wife, wife and you and him and take the middle ground. So you address the issue, you still address the issue, but in a more quiet manner. Um, and don't let it be something that goes under the carpet. Obviously, you you need to take your wife's perspective in, uh, into consideration here as well, um, because she's part of it too. So um, it needs to be something that she agrees upon too. So do make sure to um, take her advice on this. I know she's um, expressed some concerns about bringing it to the family as well. So do take this into consideration and how it might affect his relationship with his wife as well, which is her sister as well. So it could really um, turn things upside down if you do confront and make a big thing out of it and let everyone know. So it might be better to do um, more of a, a quiet thing with the man himself alone and with, with your wife as well. And this is taking more of a middle ground. So you're letting him know that you're aware of the situation and maybe even you being there alone will be enough for him to stop it. Maybe he's just taking advantage of the situation that you're not there. 
um, but essentially you want to make sure that you consider your options and consider the consequences of each of these actions as well to make sure that you take the best approach but don't make this decision whilst you're feeling angry make sure you're calm whilst you're thinking of the different options that you can possibly take and the different consequences and how it will affect the entire family as well um, so do think of all these different things make a stakara even on which one is the best one to make um, and consult your wife obviously because she is a big part of this too she's the one that's facing this abuse right now but in the meantime um, do um, advise your wife to obviously not be alone with him she shouldn't be alone with another man anyway but also um, to remain safe by being in the company of other people uh, perhaps even when he's at a family gathering for example that she should not be close to him and should remain with other people at all times so he can't be doing this kind of thing again um, it's just to keep her safe until you arrive um, and to really keep you feel more comfortable keep, keep you feeling more comfortable so inshallah when you uh, are able to go and be with her you'll be able to sort things out with him um, but may Allah guide you to make the best choice about how to handle it from now on in. And may Allah make it easy. May he grant you happiness within your family and success in your family. Amen.